All right, the following fossils we're going to see are from Glen Rose, Texas, at a place called Dinosaur World. It's much more of a kid-friendly activity center with a dinosaur theme than any kind of a museum, but they did have this uh, yeah, moderate-sized, maybe somewhat small exhibition hall. But it had some really cool stuff, like this. This is a Seymoria. I might have actually pronounced that correctly. Uh, about two feet long, and it was actually from Texas here. I guess that should be here in Texas. But anyway, nice uh, complete sample, looks like. I didn't catch the name of these guys here, but they're from the Jurassic period and were discovered in England. These things were huge, too. It's pretty cool. Here is kind of the uh, showpiece, a T-Rex claw. Looks pretty awesome, has this neat purple color. And the T-Rex is pretty famous, so I'll just shut up and zoom in to give you a, as good of a view as I can. Here's another meat eater's tooth. It's from a dinosaur that lived in Africa. It was large. Some of the teeth can be up to five inches long. And its name was something like Carcharodontosaurus. I don't think that was half bad. It sounds more like a Pokemon creature, but anyway. Here's a neck vertebrae that was discovered in Texas. Belonged to a relative of the monitor lizard. And uh, I didn't capture the information about the size, but based on this thing, I imagine the creature was quite big, and I would not want to see one. In person, that is. And here's another vertebrate. This is from Mongolia. It was an ostrich-like dinosaur that could be up to 26 feet long uh, from the Jurassic period. Uh, actually appeared in Jurassic Park and the Lost World Jurassic Park. This is unfortunately a replica, but they were honest about it. It's a replica of a T-Rex tooth, so unless you get to see what they would have looked like, and it was based on an exact specimen. And then this is a piece of uh, petrified wood. It has this cool, like, chocolate color to it, almost. Thought it looked pretty neat, so take a look. And we'll finish with a footprint from Dilophosaurus. About 20 feet long, Jurassic, a sleek, fast, bipedal dinosaur. And no, I don't care how bad my pronunciations were, I didn't bother to look them up. It's just more about showing these. Thanks.